watching Sports Beat. The Utah State Aggies are Mountain West Conference Tournament champions. They defeated the San Diego State Aztecs 64 to 57 in the Mountain West Tournament Championship game. And now the Aggies are winning, have their first tournament title since they joined the Mountain West. And they don't have to sweat out selection Sunday. That's the best part because they know now that they're going dancing. Pre-game, I could feel that he was, you know, he was locked in and ready. And um, obviously, he's he's made such such great progress throughout the season and. His confidence has gone up so much, and um, you know, to be honest, wasn't a surprise to us because we know that Abel's that type of player. I love the country of Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> Before I came here, I didn't know what I was getting into, but as soon as as soon as I practiced, I knew uh, I knew we were we were gonna be this good, and we just we just kept on working the whole year, and it felt awesome. It makes life so much easier playing with him, and. Um, <clears throat> We're grateful that the coaches were able to make that late find with him for sure. The Aztecs made a run late to get back within single digits, but the Aggies held them off and were able to complete an impressive run. Ten straight wins, a Mountain West tournament title, and a ticket to the big dance. What a year for a team picked to finish ninth in the conference before everything started. The most rewarding part of that is you see your family, you see your team, and then seeing all the... Aggie Nation and Aggie Blue here to score. And, and we're not done yet. We're going to keep on climbing, boys. Now to the pro game. The Utah Jazz hosting the Brooklyn Nets before they head out on a four-game road trip. But the first thing that Jazz had to do was share a message tonight. Before the game, Gail Miller was wearing them. The Utah Jazz were wearing them. The Brooklyn Nets were wearing them. T-shirts with the word solidarity on the back and on the front, two hands of different colors joined together. Another strong message sent after what happened on Monday. The Jazz fell behind 19 to 11 in the first quarter. Things looked a little bleak, but then they went on a 27 to four run. Kyle Korver had a trio of threes and helped the Jazz jump out to a 38 to 23 lead early in the second quarter. What a change of events that was. Now for some standout plays, and there were several. Ricky Rubio going behind the back to George Niang, who buries the three. Ricky with 12 points and six assists. Then what a night Rudy Gobert had, playing sick, by the way. He was throwing up after the game. He made this game his personal highlight reel. Duncan all over the nets. He finished with six dunks. Donovan behind the back. Ricky the oop. Rudy finished. Then Donovan with the no-looker. The arena exploded on that one. And to cap it all off, the put back off the miss from Ricky. Gobert, 23 points, 17 rebounds, and three blocks. And then there's Donovan Mitchell. He had 24 points to lead the Jazz. Four made threes and several moments that can only be described as sorcery. 114-98 the final. Three straight wins for the Jazz. They start a four-game road trip, as I said, in D.C., on Monday. All right, now to Real Salt Lake, and it was a night to forget in the nation's capital for RSL. They lost to DC United five to nothing. Ugh, rough, rough game. It was a night to, to honor Nick Romano, though, in DC. He became a legend in Utah with Real Salt Lake, but before that, he was an MLS Cup champion with DC United, his former club recognizing his career accomplishments. Before tonight's match, Romano will retire at the end of the season after 20 years in the league. Another legend dominated this match, Wayne Rooney, the longtime Man U star, now in Major League Soccer with DC United. He scored a hat trick. He chipped Romano for a second goal. Then in the 64th minute, he would get some help from his friends for goal number three. The Arsenal didn't get any help from the refs tonight. They were playing shorthanded, playing not just one man down, but two. Jefferson Savarino was sent off and first half stoppage time for a serious foul. Then in the 67th minute, Marcelo Silva has shown the door after picking up a second yellow. RSL was already missing three players next week on international duty. Add two more to the list. I showed you Rooney's hat trick, but Rooney didn't even have the best goal of the match. That belonged to DC United's Lucas Rodriguez. A rocket straight off the volley. Wow. Next up for RSL, LAFC in Los Angeles next Saturday. What a day of sports and congratulations to the Utah State Aggies 
Mountain West Conference Tournament champs, and they're headed to the big dance. Back to you guys in Salt Lake City.